Hello everybody, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more RimWorld. Um, I initially actually wanted to play um, Dwarf Fortress, but I mean to do it for a long time. I need something to go along with Dominions 5, and uh, there's not actually a whole lot I can play right now, which kind of stinks, but because my CPU is bad. I could go into big deal, uh, big deal talking about it, but I'm sending it out on Monday. I'd like to... No, maybe try and make a, you know, play all day tomorrow and the rest of the day of today. <clears throat> and try and get, like, a few videos out to go along with the other one while my CPU's off getting replaced. I have to send it back to Intel. And, uh, luckily it was still under warranty. Everything's kind of working, but everything crashes. There's a lot of errors, memory errors and stuff going on. And all that fun stuff. Um, I had a few weird issues with this game. But, uh, they seem to be minor. And maybe you could get around them. We'll see. We'll try. Um, I'll kind of slowly scroll through the mods list. Alright, quite a bit. make sure yeah um rim station 13 would be really cool if they made it a little extra that little extra bit um if they made like the, the uh survivors need to or i guess crewmen uh, survive out in space but have to have like bring oxygen and all that stuff and a little little extra elements from space station 13 into the game in that mod, it would be so fucking cool. I would love to have, like, be able to control, you know, a crew to build and run a station. That'd be so fucking awesome. There's a few games that are kind of, you know, already, like, station building in space and ship building in space games, but <clears throat> I feel like this platform would be a good one for it. Um, so let's go ahead and create a colony. I'm going to do pairs. Um, it kind of hinders us in some spots. We get a lot less silver. A lot less survival meals. Um, a lot less medicine. I almost just want to do this one, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I made this one a while ago. I can't really remember what I made it for, but it's been sticking with me for quite a while. I actually almost want to say this one. <laughs> no, we'll go with the standard one for now. I'll probably do another one some other time. I've played this before. I think my um, settlement was destroyed somehow. Oh yeah, I think there's like a bunch of like events that was going on. And eventually just spiraled out of control. <clears throat> I'm going to do some challenge. I kind of want to do base builder, but I don't really want this one to last super long. As in, I'm trying to do it before I send my CPU out. Um, I mean, I could pick up where we left off when I get the new one back, but... For players on their first game or casual. You know what? Let's do rough. Let's make it difficult. Uh, increasing curve of challenge. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna leave this off. Uh, let's just put... Yeah, let's put burnt toast. Because that's everybody's favorite. Globe coverage. Why not 100%? Average, average. Other games I was thinking of doing in the meantime, because there's not a whole lot that's actually working very well. Um, I was thinking about possibly doing Minecraft. Would be fun. I do like building stuff in that game, and it's a pretty fun game. There's a lot of stuff I haven't done in it yet. Like, chanting came out like a while ago. I never tried that. I never really made mega structures and, 
you know, really like decorative builds or anything like that. So that'd have been pretty cool. Only downside is I'd do it in survival mode and just to build up the materials and stuff would take a long time. And I generally just keep going with it like I'm streaming. So I don't really like cut up and edit the videos. I was waiting for the world to generate and here we are. Here's our world. I just gotta try and remember how the, oh, there we go. Look at that beautiful place. I can't remember when this was added in, but man, pretty neat. And now you could actually like send out caravans and stuff to other places. I'm not too sure how much I'd get into that. I'm kind of a stickler for learning new things. Uh, temperate forest, marble sandstone and granite. Average temperature 61 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. What is this? Arid shrubland. Mm. Would be cool to be near a river. Never really tried that, I don't think. Uh, 64 degrees is the average. 53 degrees in the winter. Wow, that doesn't even get cold there. Uh, summer doesn't even get that hot. There's probably still be heat waves and stuff. Uh, animals can graze. Average disease frequency, 1.3 per year. Well, that sounds fun. Marble slate and granite is the stone types. Dabinanus? Interesting name. Well, I guess we'll do this one. Forest of do 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 trees and holy crap forests of deciduous trees interspersed with fertile clearings many species of animals move around in the trees and on the plains because of the snow it's slow to travel in winter uh, when our temperature is 53 degrees it shouldn't be snowing but who knows what this backwards world could be possibly throw our way um, I don't really have uh, prepare carefully on. I don't really think I want to. Um, I don't want anybody like super old, really. This guy's 24. Saburu short, shorty day. Sabur, Saburo. It's pretty close to my dog's name. Sun bro. <laughs> Annoying voice. Industrious. Wow. Uh, he's got melee. Good melee. And... Works with animals. Does a little bit of construction, but he's got no passion for those. Um, this guy's 32. His name's Bundy. His middle name's Hammer. I just wanna... I pretty much just want to have him... Join us just for that fact alone. Oh shit, he's a psychopath though. He's got no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother him all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold to slavery unless it affects him. He also feels no mood boost from socializing. This doesn't sound terrible. Yet he's romantically needy and won't be happy unless in a relationship. He'll be devastated, devastated by infidelity and breakups. It's silly, but he's got good construction. He's pretty good at shooting. We'll take him along. How do we... Do you not swap him out? I feel like there should be a way to... Sw oh, there we go. Um, Hive World Drone. He's got an Ambrosia Addiction, which is gonna hurt. He's really great with animals, and he's good at construction. Well... But you're, we need you here for your brother to be here. Optimus, he's really good at shooting, and he's got some growing stuff. He wouldn't be all that great to begin with, so maybe anybody else? Anybody have uh, good growing? Not really. She's got decent growing. Uh, she's pretty good with animals. She's 
Got cooking, growing, and crafting. I think I like that. Becker likes the rain. She gets a mood boost when it's pouring outside. Unless she, especially if she gets to go out in it. Becker's mind is unusually sensitive to psychic phenomena. Ooh. You are staying here. That's for sure. Um, I feel really limited only to having three people. But she's got a good all-around skill base. Um, oh, Bundy. There you go. You got animals and construction. You got cooking, shooting, and melee. No, you're the one I wanted. Right? No. Yes, no. He's really smart. That's about it. Is anybody decent mining? He's decent mining. She's decent at mining. I think we're going to go with these three. These guys are a little old. This guy is, would actually hurt. Because of his ambrosia addiction. I almost want to jump in and just negate that. That feels like cheating. Uh, uh, no. Okay. That's gonna hurt. God damn it. I bet we can't even grow up ambrosia. That's probably a bad time to do that. The three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. I did try to record this recently, and I was just like, got pissed off and quit, because uh, something weird happened. Uh... <laughs> Somebody was constructing beds, and I've never, ever seen anything like it before. The beds, like, you know how they get the little blocks when you're constructing something? Uh, for some reason, it, like, just kept on going. I mean, it was like the blocks kept stacking up on each other, and it started reaching off the screen and stuff. And it was like, what? Because normally it would only do like, I think for a bed, like six. Six blocks. Once the blocks are finished, the bed's created. Well, this went like six, and then all of a sudden it was like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. It was bad. But all right, let's look at our surroundings here. I almost want to stay here. Just right off the bat, here. It's got a geyser here we could, for uh, later on when we get that researched. I don't think I really want him to wander way off over there. What are you? Timberwolf. Well, that's not fun. I will allow you guys to come over here. Get these. And these. Uh, I mean, we got a little bit of a backing here that we could already build off of. And we have some decent place to grow here. And actually, let me check really quick. I think I might... I do have tilled soil. I've never tried that yet, but it was it makes so much sense. I mean, if I was Let me see something real quick. I noticed for my screen it looks like it's tearing. Is there something I could do about that? Not really. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Well, never mind. Oh yeah. I have like reroll maps, but I have like never used it um i haven't tried the tilled soil yet so it'd be interesting to try that is there any better look i like that location it's a good location i mean if i was in a situation yeah i would be trying to compost and reap the benefits of all that kind of stuff and tilling the soil and whatnot bringing the maybe the more nutrient rich soil to the surface so it makes a lot of sense Mm -hmm. Kind of like this section here. 
I don't really want to be that close to edge. I do like this here. So I think right off the bat, I'm going to have them... Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. All right. I'm going to have them haul these. And I want to try and put them in a spot where I don't have to deal with them again for a while. And here might be the place. I don't want them to have to go too far, though. Maybe actually back around the corner here. So somebody that I watch is playing RimWorld right now. And they had a cool idea of using it as cover, which I've never thought of. But I think I'm just going to put them here for now. Then I think we want to start cutting down trees and stuff. But at the same time, I think I want them not to. Because I want to start making a room area for beds and whatnot. It's all going to be made out of wood. I'm not going to burrow into the rock here. I want, I want structures outside. I'm going to make a complex that's all kind of like... I'm doing stuff with my hands that you can't see, and it makes no sense. So let's go ahead and chop wood. Clear out these areas here. I'm going to select these ones separately. And that's a little much from the cut down early on, but... Okay. There's a little guy there, there's a little guy there. If any of these fall in line with something we're constructing, they'll actually end up destroying it anyway. But we're going to actually have to kind of build up a little more up here, because I want the fertile soil towards the middle. So this will probably end up being the middle of our base. So I'm going to deconstruct this, even though this would probably be a good idea to have in the thing. In the base in the first place. And I'll remove the floor here, even though there's probably going to be more floor possibly underneath these. Alright, let's... Uh, let them start doing their thing. I do like these uh, hints and tips. Let's find out who our best... Well, start setting these up, I guess. Um, firefighting is a number one priority. I don't know why you don't do that. I should have been paying more attention to stuff. Why, are you, why is this rod? Does that mean they're just real bad at it? Might be that real bad at it. Um, being a patient is a number one priority. <sighs> we don't have a doctor. Well, I guess you're the best one. Um, you guys could be choose for bed rest. No, probably one for bed rest. And then flicking, I want to be a one. These are all super high priority stuff. Um, nobody's really good at being a warden. Somebody ran off somewhere and I don't see them. Oh yeah, I see them. I have the pets' names on too, so it's a little confusing. Yeah, see that? Let me get that really quick. Floors, move floors. They have floors here too. It was underneath. Okay, let's look at these again. Um, Warden, I'll put it five for now until we're ready to do that. Handling, you're really good at it. So we'll make that three. Uh, you'll be a three at... Let's knock those down to four. And then three will be the good one. Uh, yeah, you could construct and handle. Mine, plant, cut. I think that's pretty good as it is. What are you? You're pretty good at cooking. So I'll leave that at three for you. Could you not? Um... I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, there we go. Character. 
prefers to live in asceticism. He will be put in a poor mood if he has a bedroom that's too impressive. Also, I dislikes fancy food and prefers to eat raw. And raw food won't bother him a bit. <sighs> can't care, social, artistic, or firefighting. That's bizarre. Unless he's just real afraid of fire. Um... I am going the wrong way with these. Plant cutting will be four. Three for use. So tailoring, crafting, hauling. I don't really care too much about these. I like... You know, I might have you guys be pretty high up on cleaning. Because it's nice to have clean spaces to be. Oh my god, their growing is so bad. This legitimately might have been a poor choice. Not really sure if I'm setting these up good. I mean, I have a lot of experience with this game, but I just kind of wing it for these every time and just hope for the best. Move that little guy there, because that's going to be in my way. Probably at some point. Maybe not right away. I would like to start building walls. Now, when I do this, I try to think of ways to expand... And stuff. I do it for everything. I do it for Dwarf Fortress too. I'm thinking we could go ahead and put like the main thing here, or we could do the grow room first. Let's go 13, 13. I don't know where the best spot really is. It looks like it's not fertile soil here. Oh, we got the fucking goddamn. It really doesn't matter. Hmm. Put it here. Kind of like to stay in the cup here. This 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 area here. So uh, I think something like this. Why thirteen by thirteen? I'm not too sure. I just that doesn't look like the center, is it? Six, five. How did that happen? You can tell us it's already off to a great start. Really is. I don't do hotkeys very much in this one, but obviously like Door Fortress. It's all about the hotkeys. Maybe eventually I'll start remembering them. This will be their grand room here. I wish I could... If there is a mod that I could like just shut off second sections to build, it'd be awesome. Because I'm using this as a framework right now for where I'm going to put everything else. For instance, go like this. It's a bedroom. I don't know if I really like the size of that. A little too big, in my opinion. Well, if they had, like, their own eating spot in there, too, it would be kind of neat. I mean, they do want places to sit, so if I could give them, like, a little table and a chair in here, too, probably, like, there. That wouldn't be terrible. This is actually wrong to begin with, but I'm going to leave it like that, and they could just deconstruct the wall. You'll see why. I could explain it now, but why bother? All right. Don't want to touch. And it's one, two, three, one, two, three. 
bam. One, two, three. Yeah, I'd like to put more in, but we'll just hold off for now. And we only have three people. So we'll be fine with how this is working at the moment. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I'm just doesn't look right there. Oh, I done fucked up. I kind of want to light these corridors. Or these hallways. Damn it. This video already went well on long enough. I like that. This will be the main hall. Then. One, two, three. Is that how it happened? Maybe that's how it worked. I do this, did this a couple times already. It's same, similar kind of layout. I end up changing it a little bit each time, though. But then, uh, but I never actually did them on video, so I wouldn't mind showing off what it kind of looks like. I'm going to leave it like this. But basically, these are going to be like an additional hallway. These will be rooms coming off here, so we'll probably be able to get eight rooms here. Possibly maybe an extra one, who knows. We could cut this out a little bit if we wanted to. But then these are expandable that way and that way. Oh shit. Alright, maybe not that way. Or we could just kind of have this enclosed off and work around it. We'll see. That puts a fart in my plan, that's for sure. I want to lie, it's a bit upsetting. Alright, I'm probably going to move this over here. Or here. Probably here. This makes a lot of sense now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I'm going to end the video here, and I'm going to actually move this whole same thing here so we could actually branch out this way. I want to leave this out of our path so we could utilize it later. So if you enjoyed and you want to see more RimWorld in the future, uh, make sure you leave a like. If you like what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to leave any kind of feedback, comment, or just say hey, I will say hey back. So until next time, take care. And I can't.